Skyscrapers have long been admired as towering symbols of human dominance and architectural genius. They are massive and aesthetically pleasing buildings that have made several nations prosper by attracting businesses throughout the world and advertising their ambitious vision of the future. But beneath the gleaming facades lies a potential yet to be fully realized. These colossal structures can offer more than just house offices and apartments by making use of the vertical space for clean, renewable energy production. One of the ways of doing this is by installing solar panels on the outside glass. This can single-handedly maximize energy generation, enhance energy security, reduce energy costs, increase property value, and potential revenue generation by selling surplus electricity back to the grid. This idea is not just a mere suggestion, but an imperative need. With each passing day, the Earth suffers the consequences of excessive reliance on non-renewable energy sources, from rampant environmental degradation to looming resource depletion, the toll of the ongoing rough energy practices cannot be denied. There has never been a greater, urgent need to switch to sustainable alternatives than now. If immediate action is not taken, our world and future generations will suffer irreversible harm. And for that very reason, Governments across the globe have invested in solar farms and land on which the panels are to be installed. With skyscrapers, the engineers already have the land, which simply implies that less effort is going to yield massive rewards. But is this approach really effective? Believe it or not, yes. It is a clean energy source that is both renewable and inexhaustible. This means that skyscrapers will keep on producing energy every day, which can be used to fulfill the building's own energy needs, and if in excess, it will supply power to the city as well. According to reports, skyscrapers often generate more pollution than other small buildings with the same net collective areas. So, installing solar panels will not only solve the energy problem, but also replace the existing non-renewable energy outlet with an eco-friendly alternative. Just like conventional solar power, generating electricity from the sun reduces reliance on fossil fuels, thereby lowering carbon emissions associated with traditional energy sources. By transitioning to solar power, skyscrapers can significantly shrink their own carbon footprint and contribute to cleaner air and a healthier environment. Moreover, they also provide ample vertical space that often goes underutilized. But by embedding solar panels on building facades, rooftops, and other surfaces, skyscraper solar farms will maximize energy generation without consuming additional land. This will not only reduce costs, but will also save a lot of green areas that were originally intended to be used for solar implants from getting disturbed by machinery. Plus, the area of skyscrapers offers an open and 360-degree surface, which will help capture the maximum number of photons from all directions, from sunrise to sunset. This makes it more efficient than a conventional, unidirectional solar farm of the same area. Furthermore, it requires minimal post-installation maintenance, so apart from occasional cleaning, no monitoring and maintenance cost is needed for the panels. However, this project is not limited to the accumulation of free power. It also increases the employment rate. Out of all the green energy resources, solar energy creates the most number of job opportunities. It opens the gates of employment for developers, builders, installers, as well as maintenance technicians at the power plants. Furthermore, just like how other skyscrapers endorse a certain sentiment, for instance, Merdeka 118 is a symbol of Indonesia's independence from British rule, the solar farm skyscrapers can be used for educational purposes to raise awareness about the benefits of solar power and promote environmentally conscious behaviors. These solar farms will serve as visible symbols of sustainability, which will effortlessly market the benefits of embracing green technology to inspire communities and individuals residing in the vicinity. The benefits sound endless, but what's even more fascinating is the creative thought process that goes behind embedding them into the skyscrapers. Transitioning skyscrapers into solar farms requires a comprehensive strategy that addresses various factors like technology, installment, and urban design. The current technology is capable of turning every glass panel of a skyscraper into a floor-to-ceiling photovoltaic panel. 
These are nano coatings etched onto the exterior see-through glass, making it semi-transparent and also being able to generate energy from the sun. Firstly, the constructors conduct a thorough assessment of the skyscraper's rooftop, facades and other available spaces to determine suitability for solar panel installation. This step involves utilizing advanced solar mapping tools and software to analyze solar irradiance, shading patterns and potential energy generation capacity. Then the designers collaborate with architects, engineers and solar energy experts to formulate a customized solar panel system that perfectly matches the unique characteristics of the skyscraper. This is where building integrated photovoltaics or BIPV, come into play to maximize energy generation potential. BIPVs are photovoltaic materials that are used to replace conventional building materials in parts of the building envelope, such as the roof, skylights, or facades. BIPV serve two purposes at once. They act both as the outer layer of the skyscraper and generate electricity for on-site use. Then, the working team plans to optimize the layout and orientation of solar panels to maximize exposure to sunlight while maintaining aesthetic appeal and structural integrity. At this point, funding contracts and financing mechanisms such as power purchase agreements along with various permits and regulatory approvals. Then, in other places where nanotech is not embedded, the designers install a mounted structure through a system of racking onto the skyscraper's suitable areas. These frameworks allow panels to rest comfortably at the right angle, and for that, engineers use advanced structural techniques to ensure the stability, durability, and safety of the mounting structures. These structures are modular and adjustable, facilitating easy maintenance and scalability of the solar panel system that is placed on top of it. In this critical step, the engineers use smart techniques like prefabrication and modular assembly methods to expedite the installation process and minimize disruption to building occupants. However, not every solar panel is fit to be embedded. Only lightweight and flexible panels are used that can conform to curved or irregular building surfaces. Then, these panels are connected to inverters, electrical wiring systems, and the building's energy management systems to convert and distribute the generated electricity. Now, placing solar panels on the exterior of the building can hinder the aesthetic appeal, but thankfully, the designers have figured out a solution for such problems. The simplest solution is to place the BIPVs in such a manner that seamlessly integrates solar panels into the skyscraper's fabric, preserving its aesthetics while simultaneously harnessing solar energy. Additionally, innovative design strategies are used to blend the panel with building shapes, colors, and textures, which enhances overall architectural harmony and doesn't make the panel stand out. While that problem is sorted, a lot of people believe that the cost of this strategy is a much greater challenge. But thanks to advancements in solar panel technology and manufacturing processes, the overall cost has continued to be driven down over time. The plates used are third-generation solar cells that use a mineral called perovskite, which is cheaper, more efficient, and more adaptable than the silicone that is currently used to coat other commercial solar panels. The last big challenge that designers face is the practicality of the plan, with problems like structural load capacity, space constraints, and building orientation. To counter that, the builders leverage several technological methods such as tracking systems and tilt mechanisms along with panel adaptability and flexibility to blend into the skyscraper's complex dynamics. All in all, the potential of skyscrapers as solar farms represents a paradigm shift in our approach to urban sustainability. By harnessing the untapped energy potential of vertical space, engineers can mitigate climate change and reduce reliance on fossil fuels. This is a big step toward a clean future with minimal carbon emissions and measured under any parameter. The pros effortlessly outweigh the cons. So now, as we stand at the edge of a renewable energy revolution, it is absolutely vital for us to support and advocate for initiatives that promote such clean energy practices. The builders and supporters together can turn skyscrapers into massive figures of green energy, which endorses a brighter and more sustainable future for all.